How's it going, everyone? This is Retro Devo here with another unpackaging. And today, I got in the mail a package that I'm going to unpack for you. Now, a lot of you know how much into game collecting I am. <clears throat> Just get this damn package open. Forgot the blade. <laughs> I bet you can see what this is. Conquer, Live, and Reloaded. Now, I've wanted this game for quite a while. This is a full-blown HD remake of uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day on the N64. And to me, this is the version to own because not only are the visuals uh, upgraded by quite a bit, but also... This is a hard disc to come by, first of all, still these days, but also, it's not as rare, no pun intended, uh, as the N64 cartridge. The N64 cartridge is even rarer, as well as, um, you know, inferior looking graphics. Um, now, there are some downsides to this version. Some of the the naughtiness humor is toned down. Uh, Conker doesn't look angry the way he does in the N64 version, but I still maintain that this is the version to have. And the nice thing is that this is actually backwards compatible on the Xbox One, and you don't even have to have the disc uh, if you want to play it, because you can simply download it for $15 straight from the Xbox One's store. So, that touches on another subject. I paid 40 bucks for this. eBay? Sellers? I need to tell you something about original Xbox games. Pretty soon, you will not be able to charge ridiculous prices for these games. You know why? Because Xbox is making them backwards compatible and purchasable for even less money digitally in their store. I didn't have to get the physical version if I really wanted this game. But I chose to because I'm a physicals person. But a lot of you out there who are not, who are more into the digital aspect than I am, just pay 15 bucks on the Xbox One and this game is yours. So, people on eBay, you need to stop price gouging. The most you could. I could see getting out of this just because it's physical. 25. Because this copy has the manual, and I will say those are not, you know, very common these days. And also, well, the disc is one thing, but what do you know? It actually is. Pretty darn good. It's almost perfect. So, yeah, for 40 bucks, I think I did pretty well with this game. But, I'm still going to maintain eBay. You need to drop the price on this game. It's available digitally through the Xbox One for $15. There is no need to be selling 
physicals for 40 or if they're sealed 80. I could see like for physical versions in the future if it's just the disc 15 cuz that's the price of the of the game itself digitally. If it's the game and the case, no manual, 20. If it has the manual, 25. And if, and that's because it's physical and has the case and the manual. If, it, But this whole thing of selling copies of this game for $80 sealed, uh-uh, no. 40 bucks sealed. The prices of this game, as well as many other original Xbox titles, need to drop because Microsoft is slowly building up their backwards compatibility library. And I think a lot more games are going to be coming backwards compatible. So the fact that they are making them purchasable, not just put in the disc and it plays, but you can purchase them in the store means that these prices need to drop. So, let's take a look at some other games that are backwards compatible. The Prince of Persia games. Ninja Gaiden Black. Crimson Skies. I'm missing one of them. But there are the Splinter Cell series. Full Spectrum Warrior. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. Black. The original Battlefront series. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Dead to Rights. All of these games are backwards compatible. And these are all original Xbox games. Now, there's many more, especially on the three, Xbox 360, that are backwards compatible for the Xbox One. But the point I'm trying to make is I think the Xbox One of the PS4 and the Xbox One as of right now is actually the system to own because there's so many more games you can play on it. You've got original Xbox games, be it a small percentage of them, but I hear more are going to be on the Series X. But you can also play a whole load of Xbox 360 games. So... You don't have anything like that on the PS4, and they've not shown that anything but some PS4 titles will work on the PS5. We're getting to a point, people, where backwards compatibility is important to, for game preservation. Okay, so we got the Xbox One and the controller. Alright, so now we take, we simply take the game, and we put it in the Xbox One. And then you just say install. And if you see over here, we 
go to Q. There's two in Q. See? Right there. Conker's live and reloaded. Zoom in for you a little bit. There you go. Conker's live and reloaded. Fully backwards compatible with the original Xbox. Now, before I go, I want to show you one more thing while we're in here. We're going to go to Microsoft Store. All right, now we're in the store. Go to this section. It's called Backwards Compatible. And there's 99 plus games in here. Look at all these Xbox 360 games, first of all. Look at all these, look at all these games. These are all th Xbox 360 games that are backwards compatible. I see the art still loading in for some of these games, but if we go all the way down, come on. I apologize for all the loading, but as you can see, there are so many backwards compatible titles on the Xbox One. We haven't even gotten to the original Xbox titles. They should be coming up soon. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. My batteries are low. Here we go. So all of that that we just saw was only 360, but starting here with Destroy All Humans, I showed you Full Spectrum Warrior. You got Mercenaries, Star Wars Republic Commando. I showed you I have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, Star Wars Jedi Fighter, Star Wars... Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, MX Unleashed, Blinks, Breakdown, here's Conquerors Live and Reloaded. So here's the one that I just bought. So let's say I click on it. I want to see the price. So here's Conquer Live and Reloaded digitally. Oh, I'm wrong. $10 plus tax. $9.99 plus tax for Conker's Live and Reloaded. So, you see that? You can buy it for 10 bucks digitally on the Xbox Game Store. There is no need to be charging so much money for the discs when you can just download it for $10. But you see, you've got Morrowind, Hunter the Reckoning, Jade Empire, Panzer Dragoon, I have Black, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, Knights of the Old Republic 1, Ninja Gaiden Black, Fusion Frenzy, Crimson Skies, SX3, 
Psychonauts, Pirates, Dead to Rights, Red Faction 2, Blood Rain 2, Grabbed by the Ghoulies. Like, I know this isn't a lot of original Xbox games backwards compatible, but it's a good starting point going into next generation. And I think, I mean, this is... This is kind of a slap in the face to to Sony because they have a lot of these games. Um because a lot of these are third party games. On the PS3, the PS2, and yet they refuse to give us backwards compatibility. And look at all these games, people. These are all Like, anything that you would possibly want to play is in here. Now, this is not the entire 360 library. I know that. And this is definitely not even close to the entire original Xbox series. Um, but they are slowly working on giving us what we want, people. A way to play our games. And apparently they give us like fixed versions of the games they run better they look better so yeah folks if for nothing else buy yourselves an xbox one even if it's just for backwards compatibility because as of right now sony's not doing jack shit about backwards compatibility so yeah, that's why I looked into Conquer. Because it's not only one you can only get on the Xbox. But it's also... I'm trying to build up a complete original Xbox um, collection. So anyways, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Share it around. And don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so i will catch you guys later peace out and i'll catch you soon in another video i can't wait for the xbox series x full reveal take it easy